Many so-called biomechanics experts will say that anterior pelvic tilt will increase the amount of hip internal rotation that you'll see on testing. If your hip internal is better than your hip external rotation, then what's happening is likely that the tissues on the top side of the back of your pelvis are pushing your pelvis forward into an anterior pelvic tilt. This is biasing your femurs towards internal rotation, but restricting external rotation motion. Now it is true that anterior pelvic tilt causes the femur to glide back in the socket during seated range of motion testing, but this usually decreases rather than increases increases internal rotation range of motion. If you take the time to read the literature on range of motion testing, you'll find that anterior pelvic tilt consistently reduced internal rotation across multiple studies. And in some of these studies, posterior pelvic tilting actually increased hip internal rotation during testing. So why is this? Now the most accurate answer is likely complex, but here's a simple way to think about it. When the pelvis moves forward, the ball glides back, and when the pelvis moves back, the ball glides forward. When the ball rotates forward in the joint, it opens up space to rotate back. And when the ball rotates back in the joint, 